yeah. Hey everybody, I'm MC Rick. This is a program. Let's all rise to sing our national anthem. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so Here we go, everybody. What was gonna? Where am I? Who are you? How is this happening? What is real? Where are these things? Maybe we can discover the answer to these questions and more today on your yeah, program. Your program are on TV. It's good to be back. I feel like it's been a while. You know, today, a whole day and longer because yesterday we did the show moderately early if I remember Saturday Wait, Saturday I don't remember Saturday I guess what did we do yesterday Saturday was it nighttime I think it must have been nighttime Let's see. seven nighttime eight eight it's hard to tell what one's the night and the day these days because of the uh, the the it's day it's the daytime we look out the window and it's still sunny. How do we know? Oh, there's an emergency going by. Let me get this camera. Maybe try to turn this camera on, then we can look outside. It's the outside camera. Looks like it should be powered. It's just like the power cord is unplugged or something. No, that's not the power. This thing, this is the power. It's going all the way over here and all the way around. There's some crazy places and all the way back around too. I found it. It's this. There, now it should be gone. There we go, look at this. Outside, I got it going. Uh oh, <laughs> speak, don't speak so soon, self. Look at that. Isn't it nice? It's the daytime. What are we gonna do today that it's the daytime? It's, it stays late too long. It's nighttime. It's nine o'clock. But look at the, the sun is out. It's setting though. So maybe we could watch the sun set today. Isn't that nice? I'll be over here. I'll be over here while the sun sets. I got some pizza. And we got the sunset. We got the sunset from the sun there. Let's take a look. Take a look at the phones right now. Who's on the phone? 
Oh, we actually got a good amount of messages today. There it is. It's Freddy. Producer. Well, then, it's Freddy. I locked my keys in my car in Seattle and I was stranded, but then um, I went looking around for like a wire coat hanger and couldn't find any anywhere. And I knocked on a well, I'll tell you the story. Give me a call. Bye. Freddy has a whole story. There it goes. Freddy. The producer. It's quiet. Now I can hear it. Hey, you've reached Freddy Dobler. I can't come to the phone right now, but if you leave me a nice message, then I'll call you back as soon as I can. Thanks a lot. Hey, Freddy, it's the program. Apparently you have some kind of story about where hangers. Oh, wire hangers! I was back. Yeah, about 48 minutes today. Alright, here's the next one. It's too late to call Mr. Gintu, though. We missed him all weekend again. It'll have to be next week, because he's asleep. I need to go to sleep at 7 o'clock. Here it goes. It's Mr. Ginsu. His message is here, but he's asleep in person. Hey, wake up. Yeah. Last time I called you, somebody answered the TV station, so I had no way to get a hold of you. So I just seen you call, and now I'm like, what the, what the hell? So anyway. Still working. Still working. Yeah, still working. I'll tell you later. You call me whenever. Like normal, I guess. I'll figure out something to say sometime. I'm getting pretty tired right now. Don't work tomorrow, but tomorrow being Sunday. Call me anytime tomorrow. Until 8. Not bad. It's too late to call you back now, Mr. Ginsu. It's nighttime. There's the last message, and then I'm, we're going to look at some of those Vietnam tapes and stuff today. Hey, 
Hey, you did that with me. It's Cedar. Hi, Cedar. We're in Olympia. We're oh. trying to find Freddy, but I think his phone is dead. <laughs> Freddy's producer. Anyways, call me back if you see him. Bye. Cedar, yeah, we didn't see you. But. Um, he was there. Freddie was there earlier. That was earlier today. And he told me about call, this call. But I guess we'll call him back anyway and be like, Freddie or Cedar. This is all. This all got tied up. It's all. It's all over. Uh -oh, where's the book? I don't know how I'm gonna call Cedar back. I need the book. Let's go find one. In here. Oh, here it is. I see it. Okay. Now I need a writing thing to write with a pen as it were called as it were I'll say cedar hi how, how are you how you do Waiting for the sun to go down. Hello. Hey, Cedar, it's the program. We're on TV. How are you? Hey, did you find Freddy? <laughs> I did, yeah. <laughs> cool. How's, uh, the, how's the studio? It's good. The sun is setting and we're watching the sunset. You're watching a what? Sunset. Oh, wow. The sun already set here. I guess you're farther north, though. It's already set? Yeah. It's dark where you are? I mean, it's not dark yet, but I don't see any sun. And, it, like, uh, the sky's not really colorful anymore. Yeah, it's... Uh, yeah, I mean, I'm watching the, the get dark. I guess the sun is kind of set. To me, it's not set until it's dark. Oh, uh, okay, okay. Well, then, I guess it's probably the same here. <laughs> it's, like, light outside, but there, it's still... It's still light outside, right? Yeah. And I mean, there's a couple of pink clouds on the horizon, I guess. Yeah. If you I guess like, I'm watching the sunset too. If you like travel in an airplane, like north, could you like, what, like beat the sun? Do we travel in an airplane to where? Like you, you spin around the earth in the airplane, you beat the sun, stay in the daytime. Oh, 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 oh. is the other plane fast enough to do that? Yeah, maybe. Well, 24 hours, I think. 25 hours around the world, and how big is the world around? It's a, that seems like you can make it to like the like the. How long does it take to get to like Asia? I don't know, but I mean, I think it would take longer than 24 hours in like a commercial plane to go around the whole world. Oh yeah. I don't know. I mean, there's no plane that the commercial plane that can fly that long. I don't think is there. I guess not. I maybe, guess not. In, maybe in like maybe in like a fighter jet or something. Yeah. Watch the sunset. I don't know if they could the fly. They might run out of gas actually. If they tried to fly around the world, I don't know. They got to do one of those um, in-flight fuel transfers. Yeah, those are cool. Like uh, Air Force um, Air Force One. I mean raspberries from my raspberry bush. You grew them. Yeah. How are they? They're amazing. 
Does it, are they extra, they're really good. Is it extra amazing because you grew them? No, I think they're like subjectively really good. Uh, did you plant plant them or from seeds or from? Uh... They're from vines. The vines were here when we got here, and I'd like turned them all up last uh, this spring, and mm -hmm. so they're all like trellis now. It seemed to work fine. Some of the berries on the inside though, and I can't really get to them. There's a whole bush. I need like a. I need like a ladder or something, and like a platform on the top. They're they're really high. No, but they're just kind of like in the middle. Hmm. And there's, there's it's like it's like a box of wires kind of, and the top wire is maybe like five and a half feet tall. There's a layer below that, and it's just like solid raspberries up to that. And oh. I chose them in kind of like a V. So I can see the inside of the V, but I can't really reach all the way over there across the wire. It's a so lot. if I had like two, if I had two ladders, one on each side, and then a really long board, mm -hmm. I think I could climb up the ladders and then walk out on the board and then be like in the middle of the V. And then I can just grab them. That's a lot of raspberries. I mean, we only have one ladder, so it's kind of a moot point. You need to get a second ladder or, or a, um, a grabber. Or a what? Like a grabbing stick or something, like a claw. Oh, yeah, one of those, yeah, those claws. Yeah. That would work. But they might smash the, the, the berries, it's hard to... Yeah, I mean, maybe you could put like a cup in the claw and then get like a stick. Yeah and kind of push the berry off the thing into the cup with the stick. Oh, hey, Freddy's calling us on the other line. All right, see you later. Thanks, <laughs> thanks see you later. bye. Bye. Oh, hello? Oh, it's, it's not having a good time. Hello? Oh, no, wait. Come on, calls. Oh, hello? Hello? Now we're playing phone. Hey, oh. hey Freddie, we just got off the phone with Cedar. Oh, cool. He, I he, saw him today. He was looking for you, but I already knew about that. Oh, yeah. You already know about this, too. Um, I've got a story to tell. I think I told you in person, but I'm going to tell it on the show now. Please. Um, so yesterday I played a little music festival thing in um, Georgetown in Seattle called the Georgetown Carnival or something like that and a sideshow stage with a bunch of kind of freak show acts like fire eaters and a bearded lady and like these people who stapled oh. their faces and uh, smashed uh, cinder blocks with their heads and stuff with their like head? crazy stuff yeah they would uh, they with would their, like smash their cinder forehead? blocks with their faces with their forehead yeah uh, on their for yeah, with their foreheads. Not their face, uh, not their actual like nose area. Uh, you know, it's hard to tell because they are smashing. You know, they're swinging their heads down and smashing it. I guess they probably are using their forehead. Um, anyway, so that's the kind of show it was. Uh, how, I wasn't sure whether how, 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 how much there to be yeah. because they're free. Yeah. The, the, right? the bearded lady did she have a, a full beard? Yeah, it was a pretty impressive beard. Um, yeah, better than I could grow, that's for sure. Wow. It was good. Um, and, yeah, that was cool. Anyway, regardless, that's not really a big part of the story. So I, I had a, but I was just setting the stage. So the, in the story, what happened was I go back to my vehicle after the show, carrying all my gear, and it turns out that I had locked my keys in my car. Oh. And... It was about seven, no, it was like eight o'clock at night almost. And I was in this area of Georgetown that's right next to Harbor Freight, which is like a tool store. So I immediately went there first. Uh, they were closing and they barely let me in. And I was like, do you have anything to help me get back into my car, like Slim Jim or anything? Or even, I was really hoping to find like wire coat hangers. And there's pretty much no wire coat hangers anywhere anymore and they didn't have them there and i asked them like do you have them in like the break room where you guys hang your jackets up or something and no they just had plastic ones but they told me to go try the uh the 
hotel across the street. And so I went across the street to the hotel, and they didn't have anything. In fact, there was this lady in there who was like, that's why you get AAA. And I was like, you know, I don't need that right now. That's, uh, that's not constructive, you know, to my um, time right now. And so, yeah. Anyway, regardless, they didn't have wire coat hangers either. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, they didn't. They didn't. They like had wooden hangers in the rooms and plastic hangers in the staff area. So all plastic. That now. Was, yeah, it's all plastic. Um, they told me to go to the gas station across the street. So I go to the gas station across the street. They didn't have anything either. I'm getting a little worried here. Why would um, they have them in the gas you know, station? I don't know. They actually thought that they did when I talked to the gas station people. They were like. They're like, oh, yeah, yeah. And then they, like, looked around for a long time, and then it turned out that they didn't have anything. Yeah. And then, um, but let's see what happened. Oh, yeah, so eventually I actually uh, started walking around the neighborhood trying to, like, look in the garbage for, like, <laughs> I don't know, anything metal. I was, like, looking at somebody's garden. They had those little, like, wire fence zones around the garden. I was like, maybe, maybe I could, uh, like, repurpose one of those to get into my car window. Um, but in the end, I ended up taking a leap of faith and knocking on a stranger's door. What? With like a regular person. Yeah. In a house? They had a house that looked kind of, yeah, at a house. They had a house that looked kind of like a house from Olympia. You know, it kind of had a cool, dark vibe. And I thought, you know, this seems like at very least they're going to be good people in here. And they might not be able to help me, but they probably wouldn't mind. So I knocked on the door. And guess what? They had like this crazy metal wire uh, behind the, their door, and they let me borrow it. But it was thicker than um, a wire coat hanger, and it also like was kind of slippery, like had been greased or something. Oh, it, was, um, it was right behind the door. Yeah, they just had it right behind the door. You're like, hey, do you and have anything like, like this? I don't even. Do you have anything like this? What's that? They're like, you're like, do you have anything like this? And they're like, yes, we do, right here. <laughs> Yeah, they pretty much did, and they, I was like, they didn't know what they had it there for, even. They were like, I'm not really sure what, why we have this, but here it is. They didn't have to go inside um, and look. No, no, it was just right there, right by the front door. <laughs> yeah, wow. So, I mean, it was like meant to be. It was crazy. And so then I um, got that, and I went back to my car, and my bandmates met me uh, as I was coming back. And so we, we spent probably about half an hour, like, working the metal thing into the uh, separation between my door and the car and got it down and we're like trying to get to the power lock. That's the whole goal, right? Like all we have to do is just like push down on the power lock and we'd unlock all the doors. And um, a lot of people were walking by. I think the festival was starting to wind down. And so like a lot of people walked by to see like four strangely dressed men like trying to um, <laughs> Jimmy, Jimmy open a window. Yeah. But, I think if you're doing that in broad daylight, you pretty much people assume that it's your um, it's your vehicle in the first place. Mm -hmm. uh, so we we didn't get any trouble, um, and then Sean finally managed to do it. Like he he took control. We were kind of like switching who was doing the wire to open the car, and then um, he got it in there and popped open the thing and saved me hundreds of dollars uh, that I would have spent on a locksmith or, you know, whatever, in time, waiting for the locksmith, and then I came back to Olympia. It was, it was great. Wow. So, big shout-out to Sean Downey. Saved me. And the lady who lent me the wire. I was so appreciated that. Thank you. We gotta get more wire coat hangers, everybody. Everyone should, like, have one just for, just in case, you know, to help to people. To pop your car? What year is your car? A 96, I think. I think that eventually you can't do that anymore, right? With the no, I'm sure you can do that. How could you not? It's like it's just the seal between the door and the car. I'm here with Tom. Tom's here. Hey, Kenny. Hey, Kenny. How are you, friend? Real good. How are you? Things are good. With there was four of us at the draw thing tonight: uh, Jackson and his lady friend, and Steve and me. Uh huh. But it has since dissolved. <laughs> Did did you did you so, hear about this? Yeah. Hope you're having a good Sunday evening. Thank you. Did you hear about yep. this? Did you hear about this coat hanger situation, Tom? Oh, I, oh. I actually was sort of holding the phone up to his head. more? Oh, he's good. All right. Yeah. He says he says thank you. 
I um, think I yeah. have. I think I have all plastic coat hangers. I don't have. I don't know what last time I saw a wire coat hanger. They don't sell them at stores anymore. No, you gotta get them. I don't know how you get them, but you gotta get them and hold on to them. I got. A, I got one in my car. So if other people get broken in, like lock their keys in their car, we can use the wire coat hanger in my car to open their doors. But it didn't do me any good. Locked inside of my vehicle, so that was a. You gotta. Good time. Oh, you can put put the the coat hanger in like tape the coat hanger or something to the bottom of your car. Oh, that's a good idea. Yeah, I think I'm just going to get some, maybe a hide a key or something, because that, yeah, I, I don't want to be in this situation again, and I don't trust myself to actually not lock myself out of the car again, so probably got to do something like that, or put a key, I guess, you know, maybe a spare key. Yeah. Maybe like, maybe like I should put a spare key on the inside of my shoe, or something. Yeah, you or walk, like, around, uh, walk around it all the time, or like yeah. your wallet. Or yeah, something. I don't know. I guess it's like how many. What do you what do you care most about losing? But I didn't want to get stranded in give, Seattle. At least give a spare key to uh, Sean. That's a good idea. Yeah. I have I, I have a few spare keys that I give around. I got one at the studio, and then I gave I think I gave one to Bell, the intern. Oh yeah, definitely. Gotta give them to people you trust. That's a good idea. So you're gonna get gonna get lost. That you can good. tell people who are in today. I, I need yeah. I need help, but then they're in Seattle. If you're in Seattle, how can you do it? But you can give one to Sean, because you can just copy those nice. things I, at, at Walmart for like three dollars. Beautiful. I, uh, what? Can you? You could copy. A, you could copy a key at for like three dollars. Oh. Oh yeah, that's a good idea. I should do that. Especially because it's not like the crazy new car keys, so good. How's the how's the, right, well, how's the production hey, end going? Oh, oh, production end. The production end is going good. We're really set up. Like the system worked so well that we were like already scheduled through next Thursday. By the time we left TCT TV and YouTube is up for two more weeks. I mean, we're killing it. I mean, it's really going smooth. So good. I think people are gonna be happy. Uh, we got some titles now. That was a good thing. Oh yeah, how how are those? Are we updated still? What? Are we? Do we have enough titles? Yeah, we'll have to do some more maybe tomorrow. Okay. Make some more titles, but we're doing fine for right now. The Lonely Dove. All right, thanks, Freddie. All right, thank you. Talk to you later. Have a good Bye. program. Bye. 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 The Lonely Dove. I think we had ended up doing all the phone stuff, right? But I'll call John Webster. Just cause I'm pretty much gonna, I'm just gonna call John Webster every day, and some of the days he'll pick up, some of the days he won't pick up. I'm gonna ask him about his messages today. I'll say, John, do you know about your voicemails? Hello, John. Do you know about your voicemails? Bring your, bring your, bring, 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 Dan. Dope. Oh, no, John Webster. Oh, yeah. I guess I'm never going to ask him about his voicemail. Well, maybe if I remember before I even called. Oh, John. Hey, it's the program. How are you? Oh, fine. I'm watching the Tony Awards on, on Channel 7. The Tony Awards. The, the, like for, for Channel 7. What? Why you care about you know about any plays? Have you seen, what? Have you seen any plays this year? I'm w watching the Tony Awards on Channel Seven. Yeah, but for plays. Have you seen any plays? Pardon? Why? Why do you are you watching the awards for plays? Tony Awards. Yeah, I know the Tonys are for plays, right? Hey John, do you ever do you, do you ever check your voicemail? What? Do you ever check your voicemail? What's that? What's voicemail? Yeah, so no. I don't know. I, I call you sometimes and I, I leave messages and I don't I don't think that you listen to them and that's okay though, but I'm pretty sure, right? Is that correct? I try to get up the phone, but uh, like I'm in the bathroom or so I'm I'm sitting in my recliner, but it's kind of hard to get up to the phone and everything. Yeah. 
But what about, um, well, well, where were you today? Did you get up? Before, I try to leave you a voicemail. John, who, who's going to win the Tonys this year? Who's, what do you mean? Who won? Who's won so far? Well, Marin has lost to uh, to Toronto. I mean, to uh, to the Blue Jays. Uh, tomorrow they play. Um, tomorrow they play in. Um, they played the um, uh, Minnesota Twins in Minnesota tomorrow. How about how about the Tonys? And I just watched. And I just watched uh, uh, Detroit Tigers beat uh, uh, beat Boston in Sunday night in Sunday night baseball. Really, the D- Detroit one? Yeah, Detroit one. Red, eight, Red Sox. Eight, uh, eight to four. Eight to four. Um, eight to four. Is it an exciting game? They got different. Oh, yeah. They got lots of baseball, different kind, of different baseball teams. It was played in, in in Boston. In Boston, how come they? Where are they showing the, the teams who are against each other around here? What channel was that on? That was on ESPN uh, 32. Oh, uh, you have ESPN? Uh. Yeah, I'll call you and leave. You don't know about your voicemail. It's not an answer. You don't have an answer machine, do you? I think the voicemail is, is separate, right? Um, I don't. I don't think. I don't know. Uh, uh, I don't have an answering machine box. Yeah. So I think when I call you, you know, you might have. You might get voicemails, John. People call you, and then your voicemails go to. It's like a cell phone, only your home phone, so you can call like from your home phone. Call your voicemail. You probably have a bunch uh, of tomorrow. I'll be having some. I'll be having my caseworker come over tomorrow. My caseworker is going to be busy, so I've got to have some people here tomorrow morning. What are they going to do? Oh, what what my goals are and everything. I I like to do some dry driving now. I like to do, I like to get back. I like to. I still like to work and everything too. Yeah, you're going to drive. I don't think they'll let me drive, but I like to drive. Oh, well, why are you driving before? When I met you, you were driving. I like to I like to drive, but you know, insurance it costs insurance to drive a car and everything else yeah. too. Yeah, you gotta buy a car. Where are you gonna get a car? That's the hard part. I don't know. <laughs> you drove. I know you drove a car to my house like like four or five years ago. Yeah, I used to. Yeah. You drove, you found my house, remember? A long time ago. I was kind of surprised when you found it. But you, you made it that one day. John, tell me about, tell me about the Tony Awards. What's happening in the Tony Awards? Oh, a guy singing. <laughs> who's who's going to win? Who's winning? I don't know. They're, they're doing, everybody's doing singing and everything. What's the category? I don't know. <laughs> Best non-musical. Best musical. Best supporting oh, actor. Oh, nice woman uh, the with, the red, with the red hair. Um, uh, Julianne Moore. Is it Julianne Moore, John? John? John, are you talking about Julianne Moore? Who's going to win? Oh, did you know that Batman, uh, uh, Bird, uh, Riddle, I mean, um, not Bird Riddle, but um, Adam West. Adam West. Adam West. Bert, Bert Ward. Bert Ward was Robin. He's my cousin. I heard about that, John. Wasn't that played Batman? I heard Adam about West. that. Did you watch Batman? He passed away. Um, he was 88 years old. Oh, 88. Wow. Did, did, uh-huh. did you watch Batman? 
When it was on TV, did you ever watch that show when you were a kid? Or younger? They're giving out some. They're gonna be giving out award. I don't know. Oh, Sally Field, boy, she's still alive. Who, who is that? Sally Field. Oh yeah, she's old too, huh? How was um? Did you watch Batman in the '60s? Why, what, did Sally Field win a Tony Award? Lloyd well, Ned Ned Kemp got a uh, got an award. For what? For uh, misery? Right? What? Was it for misery? She uh, she played um, uh, Annie. It just showed that what she played in anyway. What was that? Misery. Misery, John. What? Misery. Missouri. 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 Um, what, uh, what's, what, what'd you eat for dinner, John? What's on Channel 7? What, Tony's? What's on Channel 7? The Tony's. The Tony's, John, is it the Tony's? Did you go to church today, John? Did you make did you make what? it did you make it to church? Yeah. Did you ever find out what happened to those people that didn't pick you up? I think that was last week or two weeks ago. Oh, guess what? What? Next uh, Wednesday um, is the first day of summer. I mean, uh, Tuesday begins the first day of summer, but uh, Wednesday is actually day of is uh, actually the first day of summer. Really? It feels like the summer is already here. <laughs> But uh, Tuesday, I might be going up to St. Mark's Cathedral uh, uh, I, at Wednesday. I mean, what, Tuesday. What are you going to do there? Oh, uh, someone's going to get ordained as a priest. Who? Going to catch, get a uh, uh, call pool up from uh, from the church where I go to, up to Lakewood, and then and take a bus, take a bus up to. Um, up, up to the, uh, up to the cathedral. The whole thing? Pardon? Yeah, we're going to record a message to the future, okay, John, you ready? It's a, um... Hey, future, it's us, the past. Say hi to the future, John. What? Say hi to the future. Oh, you know, I'm going to be, um, uh, this coming to Wednesday? What? Over at South Sun because um, it's Flag Day uh, when, Bye. Uh, Wednesday. Yeah, what are they going to do? And it's my niece's birthday uh, Wednesday, too. What do we do for they Flag Day? They have a ceremony over at, over at uh, where, the fly, where, all the, where the flags are at the, right by Alphabet's. They have a flag day. You should go over and, and have someone film, uh, film uh, t- uh, tomorrow. I mean, uh, Wednesday. What are they, they going to do for it? They're going to do speeches and everything. What kind of speeches? Before they... Before, uh, they're gonna have they're gonna have the raise, but they gonna, uh, they have two fire trucks with and put the, up with the big with a big flag and everything. Uh-huh. It's coming to Wednesday. You should uh, you should mark it down on your calendar. Okay. Where? Where are they going? John. Be in the paper. Just look. Pay. Just look in the paper. It's in the paper. Uh huh. Oh, next weekend is the air show at the, at the Lindsay Airport. You should go over there. Well, it's Father's Day. It's Father's Day next weekend. Didn't a car? Wasn't there a car crash? 
Where? At the air show. Or in an airplane crash? No. Never? No. I thought I remember a plane crash. No, that's a little airport. Oh, that's good. Maybe somewhere else. Though. Remember, you don't remember that news? There was like a big crash at the show, and a bunch of people got hit by a plane. Oh, that was in that was in uh, that was in that was in Seattle. Oh yeah, do you remember that happening? That was scary. Pretty scary stuff, John. I don't like to be around those planes. They, why are they doing tricks? They should just fly. They're going somewhere. I think it's reckless to do tricks in planes. What do you think about doing tricks in planes, John? Do you think it's reckless? I kind of think it might be reckless. John? All right, hey, John, I'm going to hang up. What? Bye. Goodbye, John. Okay, I'll, I'll see. I'll see. I'll, I'll be seeing you at. Yeah, I'll be seeing you at two o'clock. Yeah. With car, with car and everything. That's right. That's right. Bye. Okay. Okay. Okay, John. I'm hanging up. Bye. I like I like uh, when you have my name on on the credit after the after the after the program's over. Yeah, yeah, it's there. It's there forever now, John. You're there. Thank you, thank you for putting my name on. You're welcome, John. Thank you for being a friend. Yes. Okay. Bye. <laughs> All right, here, let's look at this. Future! Hey, Yo. Hey, Future. It's us, the past. Hi, past. Oh, yeah. Real good. It's past, how are you? Yeah, well, no, you have to repeat everything <laughs> I'm saying, but you can say, like, what do, you, so good. what do you want to say to the future? You oh, did it. We're, uh, we're the past. It. How are you? What are you doing out there? How did you get there? Wow, how'd you get all the way up there? You should really just stop that. How's your health? Good. Real good. Alright, thanks, Future. All Thank right. you. Bye. Welcome. My pleasure. Bye. The past. I passed. We're on the other tape that we're going to dub to the other tape again because yesterday was Friday, the first Friday, so now we're playing tape hopping and we're going to hope this is going to work. I believe it'll work. Yeah. It's a complication that we're going to do and we're going to work around it, so thanks. My for being alive. My pleasure. Good luck. And I wish you... Uh, I w I'm not good, good, though. Yeah, good, good, bad, bad, Thank bad, you. Bad. Bye. Bye. Because, hey, future. Hey. Hey. It's us, the past. I passed. Hello, like everyone. It How's it going? This is Sunday. How are, how are Sunday. Things? What's the future like? It's amazing. Hopefully I'm rich now. How's your health? Have you ever had that? Uh, you, uh, how's the carbs? You eating a lot of carbs? Maybe you should too much down carbs. Pizza. Is popcorn carbs? Yes. yes. Oh dang it! <laughs> I eat a lot of pizza. Bye. Bye. Oh, hey! hey. Please set the specific record time. You can't see that future, but you can. Viewers, the viewers can see that future. Can't see it. Look at this book move. Is it still moving in the future? You probably closed it. You got some Chinese food. Today, remember when we saw that van walking around town? I haven't told the viewers about that yet, but it was happening. Um, Monday, life, the lights coming out. Maybe we should, the sun should go down at 8 o'clock. That'd be better. I wish it did. Bye. Bye. Future. It's, it's us of the past. I passed. What are you, it's, oh yeah, Jacob's on the phone. Back here. Yep, blast from the past. What do you have to say to the future? Jacob, what, what do you have to say to the future? I, I just want to say, uh, you know, future, it's, um, it's pretty much dark I outside hope things now. are going progressively better. And take your vitamins and try and get some exercise. Cherish your youth. Okay, bye, future.
Way. Hi, future. Hi. Hello. It's us, the past. Hi, past. Get this coffee. Thing. It's here we are. It's the last day of the second tape thing when they move back to the tape bird. Hi, bird. Hello. You got, we got cookies and you went to California. Yeah. It's uh, Wednesday. Yeah, sunny out. Yep, there was a, a lot of smoke coming up from somewhere on I-5 when I was on there. Bye. Earlier. Bye. Really? All right, okay, we did it. I think. Oh, Yay. now we have to stop this one, or is it this one? Uh, what? Is this the same movie? Uh, the same movie, I think. Okay. Did, did you not trust me? Future. Hey, future. It's us, the past. I passed. How are you? Real right. good. Uh, it's going pretty good here in the past, but are you guys still doing arbitrary titles? Or are gonna I think we are. Again, so still doing that in the future? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Bye, future. Bye. It's Thursday. Thursday. Yep. Hey, future. You want to say anything to the future, Dan? What? Can you say something to the future? <laughs> what? Pizza. Yeah. Say something to the future. Say something to pizza, Dan. Pizza. Pizza. <laughs> Bye. Uh, it's uh, oh, um no future, Dan. Future. Future. Like time. I do it. I do Future. They passed. Hello, Future. It's us, the past. Hello, How are you? Real good, thank you. I'm good. How are you? What's, what's, uh, what are you doing? You're doing really well. In yeah, the I'm doing so well. Five children. You're married to a very lovely um, Japanese woman. Mm, Culture and sensitive, um, yo, fella. She cooks your favorite meals every day. And you have a trampoline in your backyard. Yeah. Japanese, I, I'm Japanese, yellow fella. Are you gonna find somebody in there? Oh, you are Japanese? Yeah, cultural appropriation. Okay, bye. Bye, teacher. Bye. Um, hey, future. Hi, past. It's us, the past. Hi. Say hi to the future, John. What? Say hi to the future. Oh, you know, I'm gonna be. Um, uh, this coming Wednesday, what? Uh, all that south sun because um, uh, it's Friday. Wait, uh, wait. Bye. Uh, Bye. All right, that's that. I'm over here still. This is me now. This is me right now. Uh, that was the the thing from the past. Now I also, I think it's been a little bit since we've been looking at the. Um, um last year I think I have been I've been Uh oh uh oh, oh I haven't been doing this regularly. Now I gotta find the uh oh, here it is, is this one Now we're gonna take a look at this. Last year. Oh, this is 20, what, 10? Oh, this one's yesterday. Of some state in 2000. Oh, this is nine. Let's see. Oh, the bird. I don't remember any of this stuff. If we look at this one, we're ready. Bye! On the Your daily hour with me. Yeah, look at outside. What's that? What's it like outside? The car, they're moving by through traffic. We're over here. It's oh. finally cooling down a little bit. Oh yeah, it's nice. Not super hot. And today we look at street team, some old street team stuff. We look at a birthday party. We talked to Mr. Gintu and Freddie and Chris Happy birthday. on the phone. Carl gets a beer. Calm down, Carl. 360 Yeah. Carl. Yeah. Yeah, yeah.
talked about wedding rings getting flushed down the toilet. Freddie's riding his bike in the rain. It's not ironic, Paul. Paul doesn't understand what irony is. We're on every night at 1132 a.m. on TCB Channel 42. 368 3624 call and leave a message. Brent from California, LA. Yeah, but he's here visiting his uh, nephew who went to wheat school. Bye. Bye. Are you guys going to watch later? <laughs> I know what I'm gonna watch. <laughs> this show, hey, we looked at a bunch of wedding videos today, and then they they is showed up too. Brother, uh, Mark, is we have lots of introductions and uh, people and clapping and all sorts of things like that. Jackson's here. Uh, this this was me, 2003 I I in New Jersey. Brother. We looked back in the past. Stay tuned next week for the, intros. For the intros for the tantalizing program. climax. And Mark. Of your daily hour. Please be. Call in. Sting Kevin. Seven. Bye. Bye. Alright. Um, oh, look at the sun went down. It happened. Uh, now, where's um, Vietnam? We only have a few minutes left, though, but I do want to look at a, a little bit of Vietnam. At least I thought we would. I've had more time, but uh, you know how it goes every day. Things happen, and, and we move, we're moving forward, and and we can't had all the uh, the hours in the day to see, or the, all the minutes in the hour to see all of Vietnam. But we'll see some of it, and we'll continue. I know there's a whole tape full of this stuff, so it makes me want to go through it. But maybe I should ration. Anyway. You say they take the, the inter one, they break them out. Yeah. Right. And they sure. take that one out, you see. Um, where are they going? What are they doing? They're making bells? Oh, what the crazy bell sound is. Oh, it's a drum. Or a bell. What's that crazy bell sound? Oh, it's a bell. It's an old novel hotel. Go ahead. Oh, I got it. Oh, when I got it. No, you don't touch the hand on the piece. Just put no, it. No, you don't, don't touch, touch it. it. You do not touch no, the uh, drum. Whoa, that's the crazy sound to me. Oh, okay. <laughs> Singing bowls. 
singing balls. Hey, old white guy looking out of the singing ball. What do you think about it? Wow. Thanks, uh, Freddie and Mr. Ginsu and John Webster and Mr. Catherine in Vietnam. Get out of the way, I'm driving a bus. I think they're in a big bus. All these bikers, they don't care about this giant bus. They're not even, yeah, they, they, they just don't care about it. All the bikers, people bike a lot more in these places. Oh, there's a few bicycles and a few motorbikes. Whoa, they just drove right in the middle of all that stuff. It seemed like it's hard to get all the context from what's going on in these videos. Mr. Catherine, I don't think, is playing for the show of people. And I don't know how, how these videos ended up here from Crisper all the way to here. But it's something. Oh, it's a new little wipe. That was a different wipe than the normal one. Yeah, that's the regular wipe. They yeah, like switched over to the crazy wipe for a minute. What are they? They're crafting a... Okay. Come on, Mr. Catherine, what are they doing? Tell us. Looks like a ham. Uh, they, they're washing ham. It's like guess from this angle. Oh, it's a pot. Should have known. After all that pot, uh, that, that, the, the, all the pot, pots that they're making, and then it makes sense. And maybe it's a singing bowl. Or it's some kind of uh, uh, what do you call bowls and soups, uh, spoons, bowls and uh, plates, cup, china. What if it's like dishes? Some kind of dishes. Is pots and stuff in the dishes kind of dishes? Yeah. Color powder. Just color, color, color. Yeah, what are they, what are they, they're cooking up up in science. What are you cooking up in their pottery colors, maybe? That's my guess on that. Like coloring pottery. Doing that in my work here. That's the picture he's doing. Oh, what is he doing? Putting it on the, the pot? Hey, show's over, everybody. We made it through another episode without losing consciousness or dying. I thought maybe I was going to die today, but I didn't die. Uh, thanks, Mr. Catherine. Sunday. We're on every night at 11.30 and 2 a.m. on TCU Channel 22. Whiteyshipping.com, check it out. 360-836-304, call me a message, get on TV. Whiteyshipping, on 109th State Avenue, number three, check it out. Graham Graham, it's a good song, thank you. TCTV, La Bebe, Jordi, Fabulous, Graham Graham, SupplySpot.com, John Wilson, Thurston County, Washington State, USA, thank you. Viewers and listeners, it's you, you're watching, thanks. Hell yeah, dog. Bye.